Hey Joe Where you going with that gun in your hand? Hey Joe Where you going with that gun in your hand? Going out to see my old lady no, I caught a mess and I was another man. Hi guys, Andy here again, and in this lesson we're covering how to play Hey Joe by Jimi Hendrix. Uh, this is going to be the super easy beginner's guitar version where we're just working on all our major chord grips C major, G major, D, A, and E. If you'd like to learn all the twiddly bits, the intro, and how to improvise over it, and Hendrix's licks, then you want to check out this video that I've put in a link just there. And you might want to even check out this one first, just to get a handle on a bit more covering of the chords and rhythm playing first. But if you're here for the chords and the easy version, let's get straight in how to play this really cool song. There's not many Jimi Hendrix songs that are this straightforward, and Jimi Hendrix is most people's, you know, many famous guitarists anyway, uh, absolute number one guitar player. So uh, let's check out how to play it. Okay, so after the intro of this song, it's just a loop of two strums of a C chord, a G major chord, D major, A major, and E. And that's every major chord we've covered so far in this course, um, in reverse order to the order that we learnt them in. So we start off with the harder ones, G for two beats, C for two beats, G for two beats, D for two beats, A for two beats, and then E for two bars, so much longer if we're strumming on the beat. That's C, G, D, A, and E. Now you may want to start by just strumming each of those once to really get your changes done. So you see, straight to a G, D, A, and E. Bum 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 bum. One, two, three, and again. C, straight to G, D, A, and E. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And that's just going to repeat. So we at least want you strumming on the beat really to this song. But what's really good is if we can get an eighth all down strumming pattern. For example, one and two and three and four and. If we keep this right hand just ticking away while you change chords as you already are, then it will really work and sound good to the record. As an example, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. As you can see, the right hand just keeps ticking away or strumming away on downs, down, 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 regardless of what chord change I'm doing, but it's getting the two in sync together that's the real trick to this. Now you can count along and that's cool, but it's four strums for every chord, apart from the E, which is again for two bars. So that's what you really want to get, and ideally this along to the record, for this level of where this song is in my beginner's course, which is at level six. One and two and three and four and... Hey Joe, where you going with that gun in your hand? Now, the C to G, there's no anchor finger at all, and we need it to be a full normal C chord to a full normal G chord. 
But from the G, we have a third finger anchor. Third finger can stay down on this change. And then the D to A, the first finger can anchor if you play it like this. You could also do the classic rock A, but much better if we do this way for this part of the beginner's course. And then A to E, as you'll know, we can keep that first finger down. A to E, nice and straightforward. From there with your strumming, you want to try and do the embellishments that we covered at level five of the beginner's course. Level five, lesson two, strumming embellishments. One and two and a three and four and a. So there's an accent on beats two and four and we add an upstroke. One and two, there's the accent. One and two, down up. One and two and a three and four and a. One and two and a three and four and a. And we're still doing the motion that we were doing before, the kind of eighth strumming, but we feel two and four. One and two and a three and four. And if that's something you've never done before, just try it on the E chord, just stay on the E chord. And strum along to me. And two and a three and four and a really common strumming pattern for any slower kind of songs. Any slower tempoed pop song or rock song, this will be fine for. And, and two and a three and four and a. And then you could stay on each chord a little bit longer, but keep them in the same order until you can do the one that we're going for. Definitely have a go at this along to the record. If that's something that you're able to do. And the intro to the record would go. And that's where you start with your C chord after the dum de dum de do. Hey Joe. So when you're listening out for the record, that's where you'll come in after. And if you do want to learn those extra little bits, do check out the other video um, which I've done to show you the intro and a couple of other licks in it if that's something you think you're able to have a go at or keep going with this one that you're already doing um, along to me in this video but as soon as you can along to the record to really get this one nailed. If you like this lesson do subscribe for more free guitar lessons straight to you as soon as they're uploaded and check out the website for the free guitar beginners course including a free beginner's ebook that accompanies that course every step of the way, all available at andyguitar.co.uk.